Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make that super cute um, crocheted scrunchie that we, you just saw. The toys you're going to need is first an elastic, then you're going to need yarn. I love this uh, super puffy velvety yarn. It's great for making scrunchies. And then you're going to need a crochet hook. I'm using my eight millimeter crochet hook to make this. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot onto your crochet hook with your yarn there. So I'm just making a slip knot. And then after that, I'm going to chain six. So I've got one, two, three, four, five and six there and so now I'm just looking at it to see okay is this about the size that I need and it is the size that I need so now I'm going to just um, insert the uh, hair elastic in the middle right there and I'm going to do a slip stitch to put those two ends together so I'm just going to make a slip stitch through both to make those two ends go together and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do one half double crochet around into each of those chain spaces. So I'm going to just do that over and over again into all six and then when I'm done with the six after that what I'm going to do is I am going to do a um, a slip stitch right in the top of that first half double crochet that I made and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do what I just did all over again I'm going to make one half double crochet in each of the uh, half double crochets that I made so that'll be a total of six half double crochets um, for each um, row that we do and some people what they like to do is they like to do um, rounds but I'm going to stick with rows here because I didn't bring a stitch marker and so what I'm doing now is I am just making a slip stitch into that first half double crochet that I made and I made that one a little tight so I'm having a little bit of a hard time working in it and that's okay and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of those six half double crochets that I made on the previous round and I'm going to do that over and over and over again until this gets the length that I need it to be and I'm speeding this up a little bit so you uh, don't get bored and um, don't have to just sit here and watch me make round after round after round of half double crochets and some people do like working instead of really working in rows they like to work in rounds with this and the if you work in the round you really need to mark your stitches because you don't want to accidentally add stitches here or there because you're working with a really big yarn and a really big hook so adding one or two stitches will actually make a big difference here and it, it might look kind of funky so you just want to make sure that you use a stitch marker and you're not doing any more than six stitches per your round if you're doing rounds and if you're doing rows then you, if you make the um, slip stitch to that first half double crochet made and then chain one it's pretty easy to keep up with where your rows are now if you like what you've seen please consider subscribing to my channel it would really help me out with bringing you guys free videos and um, push the like button if you like this video and ring the bell if you want to get notifications now here as you can see I'm just continuing on and on and on and even when you get to the very end of this it might look like that okay I'm all the way done but you have to remember you know when you see scrunchies and they're the cloth kind of scrunchies at the store those have a lot of cloth bunched up around the rubber band and that's kind of what you're going for here because you want to have that stretch if you don't bunch it up like that then it won't stretch as far as you need it to to go around your hair properly so you just want to really make sure that you have enough rows that it really really stretches out nicely there and I'm again I'm testing it here and when you think you have enough and you get almost to that end if you'll kind of stretch it out more and bunch up the crochet that you've already done 
then you can add more rows. And that's really what you're wanting to do. You're wanting to add as many rows as you can until you can see that it stretches nicely and that you can get a couple of loops in your hair with it. And then when we get done with this, what we're going to do is after I make that last slip stitch into the first half double crochet I made on the last row that I do, then we're just going to slip stitch all the way around. We're not going to chain. We're going to slip stitch all the way around and we're going to connect the first stitch that we made to the last stitch, the first stitch on the first row that we made, so that chain stitch, we're gonna connect that to the half double crochets that we made. And I'll slow it down so you can see this. So here, I'm just kind of trying to straighten it up so it's not all twisted and crooked, and it will get twisted some after someone wears it. So I'm holding that together. I'm seeing, does this have some stretch to it? It does, this has some nice stretch to it. So I'm satisfied that I can wear this and um, it'll go in and I can stretch it around my hair and everything just fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm doing a slip stitch right here, and now I'm gonna go into the half double crochet that I'm working on and then I'm gonna go back and slip stitch into the chain right there. So I'm just gonna do this throughout the six, and this one's being a little bit hard, so I'm just gonna grab it and pull it over. And I'm gonna do that all the way around, so I'm just doing a slip stitch in the one the half double crochet is working into, and then slip stitching into where that chain was that first chain that I started with. So there should be around six. You can do more than one in some of them if you want, if you think it holds it more secure. And the first one, I do that with a lot because it will hold it a little bit more secure there. And again, I'm trying to keep it as even as possible. So here, I'm just going to chain one and then I'm cutting my yarn. And then from there, I'm actually gonna take a smaller hook and I'm gonna weave these ends in a little bit. I'm trying to bunch it up there so it doesn't look funky, but I'm just going to grab that end right there and I'm just gonna weave it through. I'm gonna grab another section and I'm gonna weave it through. And I'm doing this one because I don't really like the way that section right there looks. And two, I'm also doing it to secure that end. And the really great thing about this kind of scrunchie when you make it is that after you get everything weaved in a little bit, that tail, you can just grab that tail and you can pull it all the way through the middle there so you know it's not going to come out or come undone. And with this, I'm like, okay, that, that looks good. I like it. So I'm going to work. I'm going to just go in right here. And I decided I didn't like that in, so I'm gonna go into the next one, go up. And I'm just kind of pulling that through right there. Sorry, it's a little blurry. But I'm just gonna pull that through right there. And now we're done, guys. I hope you liked the video, and I hope you had a good time making this scrunchie. I love making these scrunchies. And by the way, they still sell really good at markets or craft fairs. So have fun making this scrunchie, and thanks for watching my video.